part man, part machine, part bird, part drum. It's Robo Bongo Cuckoo Cop. <laughs> How many times have I dropped a bath bomb in a lemonade? <laughs> it, was, it was that good, wasn't it? Put it, it this way, mate, you don't do it twice. <laughs> I think... Serious suggestion here. Oh, yeah. I th hello, by the way. I realise I, realize I haven't said hello to you today. Hello, James, good to see you. Hello, good to see you all. My main point... <laughs> I would like to compliment you and manage to find a jumper. This is the exact same colour as your hair. Thank you. It's very good. And my shirt. And your shirt. And I'm, I'm working on my skin. <laughs> <laughs> I'm hoping this suit I can just be completely in mustard and then hide in Coleman's. <laughs> Not to seem, you know, churlish, but can we return to the topic at hand? Uh, Absolutely. <laughs> can you remember what the topic was? No. <laughs> Trump's got to be careful with all these lies, man. You, it gets you in trouble. There's a, let me tell you a story, Dara. <laughs> I'm always happy for a James' a story. a little boy time. named Pinocchio. <laughs> he was a little wooden puppet who came to life because he was possessed by a demon. <laughs> and, and he would go around and he would lie to everyone because oh, of the devil. And then these, all the villagers, they put him on a bonfire and they, <laughs> they burnt his soul to ash. And Trump should learn, you never trust a puppet. <laughs> I, think I think we've all learnt an oh. important lesson there. <laughs> you <Yeah>. fucking idiot. <laughs> <laughs> Do another one, another no, one! No, no, literally, no. Uh, I want to hear James's version of the Bible. Uh, <laughs> the entire time. In the beginning! No. The topic is moving house. Ah. I, uh, I moved house recently, luckily. That's good, isn't it? It's fortunate. <laughs> <laughs> Touch and go for a second there, and that came up, and I was like, ka -ching! <laughs> <laughs> Jackpot! <laughs> I didn't move house recently. Tad too drafty for my like in my new house. Had to order a draft excluder. Uh, by post. The uh, best way to buy a draft excluder is by post, because when they deliver it, they post it through the door, it drops through the letterbox onto the floor. <laughs> Already it's paying for its own postage. <laughs> <laughs> Moved to West London. Uh, I used to live in South West London. Different times, I was a different person. Uh, <laughs> used to be in a gang. <laughs> Big time in a gang. SW6 gang. It's our name, it's the area of London we're from, it's our name, and it's what we'd shout at other gangs we didn't like much. Like, if I saw the SW5 gang, for example, we'd shout at them, SW6! <laughs> That's clever. <laughs> I remember once, back in the day, we're out and about, SW6 crew, taking no shit, and <laughs> looked across the road, we saw them, SW5 gang, and as soon as I saw them, I was cross. <laughs> Shouted at him, SW6! <laughs> As per. <laughs> they shouted back at us, SW5! Which we expected, but it still made us angry. <laughs> SW6 back at them, SW5 back at us, back and forth, back and forth, for ages. Until eventually, uh, I got so overstimulated <laughs> that I shouted out my entire postcode. <laughs> in full. And that is why I had to move house. Big rivalry between the two of them, apparently, because they're both brothers and they've got... And I think we can all relate to that. We can all relate to it. I, I have a massive rivalry uh, with Prince William. <laughs> Why don't you get on with him? He started it, mate. It's a dick. <laughs> <laughs> don't ask me. I'm quite nice to him. <laughs> Where'd you meet him? Well, a... <laughs> Lidl. Lidl? <laughs> you can pretty much find anything in Lidl. <laughs> <laughs> including the future King of England. And, um, <laughs> he, was, uh, he was next to a Polly Pocket and a, uh, a waffle machine. And, uh... Was this Lidl in the 80s? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> Polly Pocket yeah. and a waffle machine. <laughs> yeah. Polly Pocket, a waffle maker. Why am I playing? <laughs> Prince William and some raisins. And I said... Sorry, you sound like someone at the end of the generation game failing to remember <laughs> the items. Yeah. 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 Okay, we, we apparently have to move on. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I mean... flying. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I'm sorry. I mean, was... Tell them, tell them, you just trust me, I'm, I'm building watching, up to something. I'm watching a match. <laughs> and the topic is cinema. Where you go? Speaking of the cinema, Sarah Pascoe's an idiot. <laughs> Love going to the cinema. <laughs> My favourite film I ever saw at the cinema was the Eddie Redmayne classic, The Theory of Everything. I loved it. It should have been called Look Who's Hawking. That's my only criticism. <laughs> no, it was perfect. <laughs> Worst part of going to the cinema is other people. Easily. <laughs> Sitting there. King of the Jerks is behind me. This really angry man. Had a go at me at one point because I was snacking. Get over yourself, Grandad. I'll do what I like. <laughs> In his defence, I was eating a big bag of fortune cookies. <laughs> cracking them open, reading them out loud. It was disruptive. It was disruptive. <laughs> End of this film, man behind me goes, Ugh! That's two hours of my life I'm not getting back. I thought, oh, got some bad news for this guy. <laughs> Every hour of your life... <laughs> Now you're never getting back. They're gone forever. Time is not refundable. Death is the end. <laughs> and I know that because five minutes earlier, I'd read it in a fortune cookie. <laughs> Parties. Who wants to come in with that? James. I went to a surprise party recently for my friend Daryl. We were all in his living room, all of us, uh, in the dark, hiding. <laughs> his girlfriend turned to us all. She went, right, he's going to be here in a minute. When he gets in... Everyone jump out, yell surprise, and that will be really surprising. <laughs> I argued it'd be a lot more surprising if, if instead of making all that commotion, we all just stood there in his living room in the dark, just... <laughs> <laughs> when he comes in and turns the lights on, see how surprised he is then? <laughs> it's a good party. I schmoozed. I'm good at schmoozing. Buttering people up. I'll give you some schmoozing tips, why not? A lot of people will tell you when you're schmoozing, have a good icebreaker, right? Break the ice. What they won't tell you, at the end of the conversation, unbreak the ice. <laughs> you don't want anyone else swooping in, taking advantage of all the lovely little ice cubes that you created. So freeze it over again before you leave. <laughs> so as you're leaving, just slide something under the fence, like death comes to us all, something like that. <laughs> At the minute, the whole thing's even more confusing than it has been. That's why all this is going... It, the whole in-and-out thing... I think everyone's finding it difficult. Yep. In-and-out is a very hard decision. It's like the other day, my flatmate was making me a peppermint tea and he said, would you like the bag leaving in? <laughs> or taking out? And it's very hard, cos... If, if you leave the bag in... <laughs> then over time, the cup of tea itself as a whole will get stronger. And it might appear like the bag is getting weaker, but it's now part of a stronger cup of tea. <laughs> <laughs> Whereas, if you take the bag out, the tea is now quite weak, and the bag itself goes directly in the bin. <laughs> <laughs> That may be the <laughs> smartest thing anyone has said in the last two months. <laughs> and the subject is food. I'm trying to eat more healthily lately. I've uh, I bought some ready-to-eat apricots this week. <laughs> they say you are what you eat, which is true, cos as soon as I bought the ready-to-eat apricots, I was ready-to-eat apricots. <laughs> Those ready-to-eat apricots, they came in a resealable bag as well, cos not everyone's as ready-to-eat apricots as they think they are. <laughs> Maybe next time they'll buy ready-to-eat some apricots.
I know shitloads about bread. <laughs> There's no such thing as prawn bread. <laughs> so the origin of prawn toast remains a mystery. <laughs> Favourite place to eat is Pret a Manger. Uh, if you don't know Pret a Manger, it's an authentic French restaurant. <laughs> So much in there, so much to manger. <laughs> I love manger in there. <laughs> I think my favourite thing to manger is the yoghurts. I love to manger the yoghurts. So, uh, you've got granola on top, then mainly yoghurt, then like fruit compote at the bottom. It's like, the way they eat it in Paris and <laughs> get a spoon, you mix it all together, and then you manger it that way. If you like, or if you like, just leave it as it is, don't mix it, and just work your way down in order. Like, start off with nothing but granola to begin with, just shoveling raw granola in your mouth, just <laughs> deflecting off your teeth, then power through the yoghurt for a really long time, getting absolutely nothing out of it, then <laughs> end on the tangy compote. Like, whoa, what a finale! Ah, oh, that's how I, that's how I eat yoghurt. I eat them like they're packaged. That's why I like them fruit corners. They come with that little chaser. The first subject is leadership. Uh, leadership looks fun, but it's stressful. Just look at anyone leading a conga. <laughs> On the outside, it looks brilliant. They're having a great time all the time. Just <laughs> <laughs> yes, you bloody are. Yes, you bloody are. <laughs> In their heads, just going. I don't know where I'm going. I, don't know. <laughs> I didn't plan a route. <sighs> I never asked for any of this. <laughs> God, I miss my family. <laughs> Everyone's trapped. In the conga. <laughs> you think you can leave? You can't leave. Person at the back, maybe, they can let go, make a run for it. Everyone else, you let go. You're not out the conga. Now you're the leader of a rival conga. <laughs> <laughs> now you've got turf wars to worry about. <laughs> Worst case scenario, you're second from the back, you let go. The one person behind you loves congas, isn't giving up for anyone. <laughs> and trying to mingle at the party with a maniac on your hips. <laughs> and have a serious discussion about the Lib Dem conference is still going hell for leather. <laughs> You'd have to go swimming just to get rid of them. <laughs> <laughs> Never gonna lead a conga. Never gonna lead a free cheers either. I don't know who these lunatics are. I don't know where you acquire that level of confidence. Just get up in a room full of people. Free cheers for Jackie! Hip hip! What if everyone goes, no? <laughs> Not three cheers for Jackie, she's an unpleasant person. <laughs> How about no cheers for Jackie? Hip hip, shut up. <laughs> How has a monkey spark debate this week? Oh, it's the selfie monkey. It is a selfie monkey. But that's, absolutely right. that's obviously quite an old story, the monkey that took the selfie and we all like that picture. But we now it's like in court that who owns the rights to the image? Yep, and some people, it's debates whether it's the photographer who owned the camera and left it there for the monkey to play with, or if it is the monkey <laughs> who owns the right to a photo it didn't know it was taken. <laughs> <laughs> but the monkey's not going to have a career as a photographer. I'm not going to go to a wedding and they're going to go, where's the photographer? I'm masturbating and throwing shit at the bride. <laughs> <laughs> We won't again, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> this ruined the first wedding. This is why we had to do it all again. Here's our wedding photos. It's just a load of selfies taken by a monkey. Um, <laughs> obsessed with itself. <laughs> it grows it. In the veil, yeah. holding the boat. <laughs> just, if behind it, there was like a bride and groom just trying to look around. <laughs> <laughs> like, <"Wah!" laughs> taking photographs of Everyone's himself. there. That better not a bit of yourself again. <laughs> 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 you doing a selfie again, selfie monkey? <laughs> just, just, just wasting everyone's time. <laughs> 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 Okay. No, yeah. just the bride's family. <laughs> just the bride. <laughs> if you can't see the camera, I can't see you. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, when... <laughs> 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 And it's food and drink. Uh, I'm not like Rob. <laughs> uh, I don't like going out and getting drunk. Uh, I like staying in. I drink on my own. <laughs> Wait, cool, man. I lock the door. I get myself a glass of punch. Is that weird? I drink punch on my own. Is that strange? <laughs> 
I drink, it from, I drink it from a big punch bowl with a ladle in it in the corner of my bedroom. Is that weird? I don't know what, <laughs> I don't know what other people do. People, people always worried about punch getting spiked. Solo punch, problem solved. <laughs> Not to spike myself, unless it's fun time Thursdays. <laughs> Tried going out with some mates recently, we hit the town. I'm a prankster when I'm out with my friends. One of them left me alone with his pint while he went to the toilet. Big mistake. <laughs> it's classic prank, always do this if someone leaves me alone with their pint. I went round the bar using his pint to propose toasts with. Deliberately proposing toasts to things I knew he disagreed with. <laughs> comes back as a sip. Uh, uh, what have you done with that? I'm like, ha, ha, ha. <laughs> you, you just drank to the service charge being included in the bill. <laughs> you, you just drank to those bedside lamps that don't have the switch on the cord like is convenient, but have it on the neck of the lamp under the bulb. It's like a, it's like a bolt you have to somehow slide across. And you can't even reach it like that. You've got you get your whole hand up inside the lampshade. And it, really, or it hurts. It's really awkward. You can't even see it. You've got to look at the top of the lampshade to see what you're doing. <laughs> You turn it on and it blinds you. You just drank to those lamps. You love those lamps. <laughs> Thank you very much. OK, here we go. The subject is... Rejected exam questions. <laughs> Which of the following is a quote by Winston Churchill? A. We will fight them on the beaches. B. God damn, I love these peaches. C. <laughs> 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 if the borrowers never returned anything they borrowed, why were they called the borrowers and not the thieving little bastards? <laughs> Which of the following is a quote by Winston Churchill? A. We will fight them on the beaches. B. God damn, I love these peaches. So I can't do that. It makes me laugh so much. I love God damn, I love these peaches so much. <laughs> Which of the following is a famous fucking? <laughs> <laughs> okay, your next topic is things you wouldn't hear on a train. Now an announcement for the people who insist on sitting the way the train is moving because sitting backwards feels weird. You're weird. <laughs> <laughs> I'm scared of tunnels. I'm so scared of tunnels. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the end of that round. The boy with the egg, you and James.